American Princesses, Part Two. Many little girls dream of one day becoming a princess, but since we don't have a royal family here in the United States, that dream can never come true for us American girls, right? In fact, more than three times as many American women have married foreign royals as have been appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. So there's always a chance, ladies. Here are the stories of the 11 American women who have married foreign princes and become American princesses. Marie Chantal Miller was born in London. Her mother is Ecuadorian, and her father is the American billionaire co-founder of Duty Free Shops. She is the middle of three sisters and was raised in Hong Kong with her family until the age of nine, when she was sent to boarding school in Switzerland, then in France and New York. In 1993, she began attending New York University, pursuing an art history degree. Around the same time, she began dating Pavlos, Crown Prince of Greece. Pavlos is the eldest son of King Constantine II and was heir apparent to the throne from birth until the Greek monarchy was abolished by constitutional referendum in 1973. Though the Greek royal family no longer has a throne, they still have a place in the upper echelons of European society. Pavlos is the first cousin twice removed of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, husband of Queen Elizabeth II of the UK. Pavlos is also a male line descendant of King Christian IX of Denmark, and is therefore also a Danish prince, a monarchy which still exists, though he's pretty far down on the line of succession for that throne. He attended Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., where he shared rooms with his cousin, Felipe, who is the current King of Spain. Pavlos proposed to Marie during a Christmas skiing holiday in Switzerland with a sapphire and heart-shaped diamond engagement ring. Marie dropped out of NYU and converted from Catholicism to Greek Orthodoxy. The couple married on July 1, 1995, at St. Sophia's Cathedral in London, in an opulent ceremony attended by more European royals than had been at Prince Charles's wedding to Diana Spencer. They used the same wedding planner and photographer as Charles and Diana had. Marie wore a pearl-encrusted ivory silk Valentino gown. The reception at Hampton Court Palace was hosted by her father, Robert Warren Miller, and cost $8 million. Her older sister, Pia, married Christopher Getty of the Getty Oil family fortune. Her younger sister, Alexandra, also married a prince and is next on our list. Marie and Pavlos have five children, all princes and princesses. Maria Olympia, Constantine Alexos, Achilles Andreas, Odysseus Kimon, and Aristides Stavros. Pavlos works as an investment consultant, and Marie runs a children's clothing brand. The family split their time between New York and London. Alexandra Miller is the younger sister of Marie Chantal, Crown Princess of Greece. Alexandra was born in New York and raised in Hong Kong. She studied fashion and art history at Parsons School of Design in New York City and Brown University in Rhode Island. On October 28, 1995, Alexandra married Prince Alexander von Furstenberg, the only son of fashion designer Diane von Furstenberg and Prince Egon von Furstenberg. Furstenberg became a principality in southern Germany in the 13th century. The principality was dissolved in 1806, however the von Furstenberg family still owns several palaces and castles in the region. The family has remained prominent and wealthy ever since. Alexandra and Alexander have two children together, Princess Talita and Prince Tassilo Egon Maximilian. Alexandra served as the image director of DFV, the clothing label founded by her mother-in-law, Diane von Furstenberg. Alexandra helped to revive the wrap dress Diane made famous in the 1970s. In 2002, Alexandra and Alexander divorced. Alexandra has since launched her own line of modern acrylic furniture and married fellow designer Dax Miller. Sarah Butler was born in Houston, Texas to a British petroleum geologist. She attended boarding school in England and earned a master's degree in developmental studies from the University of London. 
In 2000, she married UN Human Rights Commissioner Zaid bin Ra'ad Zaid al Hussein, who also happens to be a Jordanian prince. Zaid is the first claimant to the throne of Iraq, which was abolished in 1958. The couple live in New York City with their three children Prince Raid, Princess Hala, and Princess Aziza. Following the birth of Aziza, Sarah suffered an ambiotic fluid embolism, which nearly cost her her life. She has since become a global health advocate for the United Nations, UNICEF, and numerous other organizations. Her focus is on maternal and newborn health and promoting women's health care rights around the world. Olivia Wilde was born Olivia Jane Cockburn in New York City. Her mother, Leslie Cockburn, is an American 60 Minutes producer and journalist. Her father, Andrew Cockburn, is an Irish journalist. Olivia and her brother and sister were raised in Washington, D.C. and Ireland. She has dual Irish and American citizenship. Olivia took the stage name Wilde to honor Irish playwright Oscar Wilde. At the age of 18, she fell in love with 27-year-old Prince Tau Ruspoli, an Italian filmmaker, musician, and member of the aristocratic Rauspoli family. Tau's father, Alessandro Rauspoli, was the ninth prince of Cereveteri and an eccentric actor and playboy who cavorted around 1950s and 60s Europe with the likes of Bridget Bordeaux, Salvador Dali, Truman Capote, and Roman Polanski. Tao's older brother, Francesco, now holds the title of 10th Prince of Cereveteri. Olivia and Tao wed on June 7, 2003, in Virginia on board an abandoned school bus, with only a pair of witnesses in attendance. Shortly into their marriage, the young actress rose to fame via a recurring role on the teen drama series, The O.C. She went on to star in films including Tron Legacy, The Lazarus Effect, and The Words, and in hit medical drama House. By 2011, the couple who married so young had grown apart. Olivia filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences, and did not seek spousal support from the prince, who was reportedly heartbroken. In 2013, Olivia became engaged to Saturday Night Live comedian and actor Jason Sudeikis, and the couple have a daughter and son together. Kelly Rundasvet was born in Pensacola, Florida, to a U.S. Navy pilot and a middle school teacher. When Kelly was a child, she, her parents, and two younger brothers moved to Kings County, California. She earned a bachelor's degree in economics and an MBA from UCLA then worked as an investment banker, eventually rising to the level of vice president at Morgan Stanley. In 2007, Kelly met Hubertus, hereditary prince of saxe coburg and Gotha, at a New York City restaurant. The two moved in similar circles. Hubertus is a graduate of the London School of Economics and was at the time working as a lawyer for a bank in New York specializing in wealth management. Hubertus is the eldest son of Prince Andreas of saxe coburg and Gotha, and is the great-great-great-grandson of Queen Victoria of the UK and her husband, Prince Albert, through their youngest son, Prince Leopold. Leopold died at 30, and his only son, Charles Edward, was taken under the wing of his cousin, Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany. When their uncle, Prince Alfred, Duke of saxe coburg and Gotha, died without a male heir, Wilhelm secured the duchy for Charles Edward. During the German Revolution in 1918, saxe coburg and Gotha, along with many other German duchies, was abolished. In the 1930s, Charles Edward supported Hitler and rose to prominence in the Nazi party in the hopes that they would restore his throne. But they did not, and Charles Edward was in prison for war crimes following the German defeat. You can learn much more about Queen Victoria's colorful descendants from my series on her children and grandchildren. Today the family still uses the title of Prince of saxe coburg and Gotha, though they no longer have any political power. In 2007, Kelly and Prince Hubertus fell in love. They wed on May 21, 2009, at the family's hereditary home, Kallenberg Castle in Coburg, Germany, in the presence of many European royals, including Hubertus's cousins, the Swedish royal family. The couple now live in Coburg, Germany, where Hubertus is on the board of the family's foundation. They have three children, Princess Katharina, Prince Philippe, and Princess Madeleine. 
Kendra Spears was born in 1988 in Seattle, Washington. While studying sociology at Portland State University and still wearing braces on her teeth, she won a modeling competition on MySpace. She was then invited to participate in the Ford Models Supermodel of the World competition. She won second place, securing a contract with the prestigious Ford Modeling Agency, and moved to New York City to launch her career. Kendra has walked the runway in New York, Paris, and Milan for Gucci, Hermes, and Valentino. She has appeared in campaigns for Prada, Armani, and Diane von Furstenberg, and graced the covers of Vogue, Elle, and Allure magazines. Her looks and upper lip mole have drawn comparisons to supermodel Cindy Crawford. Kendra briefly moved back to the Northwest to complete her bachelor's degree in sociology at the University of Washington. Kendra met Rahim Aga Khan, 17 years her senior, and the eldest son of Prince Karim Aga Khan. Rahim is the grandson of Prince Ali Aga Khan, who married Rita Hayworth in 1949. Rather than ruling over a geographic region, Prince Karim is the spiritual leader of the world's Shia Ismaili Muslims, about 15 million adherents worldwide, and a descendant of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Prince Karim is also a business magnate worth an estimated $13.3 billion. Prince Rahim holds a degree from Brown University in Rhode Island and works for the Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development. Rahim and Kendra announced their engagement on April 26, 2013. Kendra converted to Islam and took the name Selwa, which means quail in Arabic. The couple were wed on August 31st at the Chateau du Belle Rive in Geneva, Switzerland. Selwa wore a traditional sari in ivory and gold with delicate jewelry to the intimate wedding of family and close friends. The royal couple live in Switzerland and have two sons, Prince Erfan, born in 2015, and Prince Sinan, born in 2017. Ariana Austin was born in Washington, D.C. Her father is a Georgetown University professor and her mother is executive director of Humanities, D.C. Her paternal family is African American and her maternal family hails from Guyana. Ariana earned a master's degree in arts education and creative writing from Harvard University. She worked in Paris as a teacher and journalist before returning home to D.C., where she founded the Art All Night Festival and later the French Thomas Agency, which produced cultural and educational experiences. She also serves as the Goodwill Ambassador for Friends of Guyana and a contributing writer for HuffPost. In 2004, Ariana met Prince Joel Dawit Mikonen at Pearl Nightclub in D.C. He is the great-grandson of Haile Selassie I, the last emperor of Ethiopia, who was removed from power and murdered during a coup in 1975. Joel was born in Italy while his family was living in exile. Though they are now allowed back in Ethiopia, they hold no official political power. Joel and Ariana wed in 2017 in Maryland in an Ethiopian Orthodox ceremony. Thirteen priests officiated, and the couple were crowned during the five-day celebration which correlated with the Ethiopian New Year, September 5th through 10th. In 2018, the couple launched Old World New World Productions, a film production company focused on Africa and the African diaspora. Meghan Markle was born Rachel Meghan Markle in 1981 in Los Angeles, California. She grew up in Hollywood where her mother was a social worker and her father was a director of photography and lighting and often took his young daughter to work with him on the set of sitcom Married with Children. Meghan has two older half-siblings on her father's side to whom she is not close. Meghan has said of her mixed European and African-American heritage, I have come to embrace it, to say who I am, to share where I'm from, and to voice my pride in being a strong, confident mixed-race woman. At age 11, Megan was profiled by Nick News for her successful letter-writing campaign to get Procter & Gamble to change a sexist commercial. She convinced the company to change the commercial from saying, women are fighting greasy pots and pans, to people. While earning her degree at Northwestern University in Chicago, Megan joined Kappa Kappa Gamma Sorority and worked as an intern at the American Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina. After college, Megan returned to Hollywood to try and break into acting. 
She appeared in bit parts on shows including General Hospital, CSI New York, Fringe, and as a briefcase model on the game show Deal or No Deal. Between acting gigs, she utilized her hobbies of calligraphy and bookbinding to make extra money. She eventually earned bigger roles in movies Get Him to the Greek, Remember Me, and Horrible Bosses. In 2011, Megan married fellow actor Trevor Ingelson, but the couple decided to divorce 18 months later. Megan was cast as Rachel Zane in the legal drama Suits, on which she worked for seven years, repositioning her character from an ingenue to the show's moral conscience. She also launched a lifestyle and fashion website called The Tig, and her own fashion line. In 2016, a friend set Meghan up on a blind date with none other than Prince Harry, grandson of Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. A great deal of tabloid speculation circled the couple, who made their first public appearance together at the Invictus Games the following year. Their engagement was announced in November 2017. Prior to walking down the aisle, Meghan retired from acting, became a British citizen, and was baptized into the Anglican Church. On May 19, 2018, the couple were wed in a lavish, star-studded wedding at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. The ceremony was watched by hundreds of millions of viewers around the world and was noted for nods to Meghan's African-American culture in addition to the traditional Anglican service. Queen Elizabeth granted her grandson and Meghan the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Meghan joined her new husband in his charity work and on state visits to Australia, Morocco, and other locations. In 2019, the couple welcomed a son, Archie. The family and Meghan in particular have faced a barrage of negative, often racist media coverage and invasions of their privacy. Thus, in January 2020, they announced that they would officially step back as senior members of the royal family and split their time between the UK and North America. The announcement set off a media storm around the couple, and though they desire privacy, they remain incredibly popular public figures. When talking about Americans who married foreign royals, you can't forget about the two American queens and the one almost queen. Hope Cook of San Francisco married Paldin Thundup Nangyal, the Chogyal, or King, of Sikkim, a state in northern India, in 1963. Lisa Halaby of Washington, D.C. married King Hussein of Jordan in 1978 and changed her name to Queen Noor. And Wallace Simpson of Pennsylvania was in a relationship with King Edward VIII of the U.K., he decided to give up the throne in order to marry Wallace, who was not considered an acceptable wife for a king. Rather than queen, Wallace became Duchess of Windsor. I plan to profile all three of these women at some point in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment your thoughts, and check out my other royal history videos. If you really want to help, please consider supporting me on Patreon. A link is in the description. Thank you for watching.